try to make everybody feel like a star for a couple hours. Then we're back to our lives. The Philadelphia Film Festival comes to a conclusion tonight, offering a finale event billed as a beer-soaked, piano-slamming celebration of rock and roll music. The South Philadelphia Boogie Express, known as Loka Connie, fronted by Cherry Hill native Adam Weiner, is about to release its globe-trotting documentary, Art Dealers, which captures the band's origin story and, of course, blasts its swaggering music. And oh, look at this. Adam joins us live right now on Brighter News. Yeah, look at you. To are we live? We are live. And early, oh aren't we? God. Hey, Adam, let's oh, first tell everyone it's at the Philadelphia Film Center at 14th and Chestnut Streets, 9.45 p.m. Don't be late. Give us the Rotten Tomatoes synopsis. What can people expect with our dealers? You're going to get your hair messed up. You're going to sweat. You're going to dance in the aisles. You might cry a tear. It's a rock and roll movie, but it's a movie for everybody. It's about struggle. It's about struggle to make something that you dream happen really happen. And uh, I just think uh, it's wonderful that the Philadelphia Film Festival is having us tonight. I hope I see some people out there at the movie tonight at 945. And Adam, we know that you guys, by the time it's done, you're just covered in sweat. You're in your jeans and your T-shirt. This is not for people who think they're going to sit down <laughs> through the whole concert, no. through the whole show. You need to be prepared to really get into it. That's right. I mean, you got to just come with the right attitude. And the attitude is we're going to have fun. We are going to get together and we're going to lift each other up and we're going to have fun. And music is the connector. Music is the connector that brings us all together, that brings us joy. And the film captures what we do at our shows. You're gonna watch the film and you're gonna feel uplifted. And I just can't wait for Philadelphia to see this film tonight. Adam, you grew up in Cherry Hill and you started this band as like a solo project and it blossomed into something where you've traveled all over the world performing. So tell people like in this whole documentary, you're, you're releasing stuff that you've saved over the years like who saves yeah. stuff like that well i was very unsuccessful for very many many years and i was playing to two people a night half a person a night traveling all over the country trying to make an audience and for some reason i had all this footage of me bombing every night and uh thank god i saved it because i think it's very instructive for people to see somebody bomb you know, because if you want to do something well, like you guys do every every morning, you have to practice and practice your craft. And so I wanted to show people what it takes to get good at something and to really dedicate yourself to something. So I put a lot of footage in there of myself bombing. Uh, in terms of, you know, so you're going to give people a look into that, how you've managed to survive. There's a Q&A section at the, at the end of the performance tonight. They get to spend time with you. One of the things is you probably get some of the same questions over and over. Is there anything that you hope people ask or anything they don't tend to ask that you really wish people would get into? Sure. I mean, uh, I like to sh shine a light on what it is to be a working artist. You know, a lot of people think that if you're in the music business and you perform for crowds, that there's limousines and champagne and, you know, this unbelievable rock star lifestyle. But actually, the truth of the matter is it's it's just like any other job and uh it's got its ups and downs and sometimes you're changing into a polyester onesie and a porta potty <laughs> sometimes there's a beautiful dressing room uh sometimes people show up sometimes people don't sometimes you feel good when you go on stage sometimes you really don't feel well and so i wanted i hope that people ask me and are interested in what is the struggle aspect of being a live performer it's just like any other job it's it's tough a lot of days, and then there are days where you say, this is why I do it. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We do. And I think that uh, changed in a porter potty. Hey, hey, there's video, by the way. <laughs> Adam is a friend of 6ABC, and he joined us back when David Murphy was with us, and he played the piano in the other studio, and he's just a joy to be around, and he's a good friend, and we wish you the best of luck tonight, Adam. Oh, that yeah, that we was had an a absolute career highlight was playing your theme song for you guys and watching you dance. Move closer to your world, my friend. All right. Well, we hope a lot of people move closer to Low Cut Conning tonight and come out and see the show and spend some time with you. Thanks, yeah. Adam. So Philadelphia Film Thank Center, 14th and Chestnut, 945 p.m. Come there with your tough cookies. All right. Yeah. Have a good show. See you, Adam.